Hello everybody and welcome back to Theopolis. And in this episode, as you can see behind me, we set up the mycelial reactor. This thing is so overpowered. It generates 25 million FE a tick. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to be doing the mycelium reactor generators thing to make 25 million FEA tick. So first thing first, I want to show you just quickly what I did. Um, remember what I said, we'll hook up all of the generators to now use constructors and deconstructors down here. Yeah, well, I've done that and I've set up all load of constructors and deconstructors to like do different ores. So I've got coal and redstone. Uh, I can't remember what's in most of them. Lapis and cinnabar. We've got netherrack and dilithium. Sapphire and emerald. And all the deconstructors have fortune tree upgrades, which basically allows them to like get it if you had fortune tree in your pickaxe, which is more uh, than probably what you would get from an enrichment chamber, which was just giving us like two of each ore. I still have the fluorite in there because fluorite uh, gives a six per thing. So I still think that's probably the maximum yield I can get from it. So that's pretty cool. And one thing when I was doing that, I realized over here, we had a room down here that we never utilized. So I decided to put the, the compact machines in here, uh, even though there's only three of them. This guy's not doing anything, which you probably never do. This guy's just the wither farm. And in here, we're going to set up our power generators. So it's just a big empty room that has nothing going on in the moment. But I want to grab maybe something like marble or something like that. What kind of designs can we have on this marble? Is there any kind of like cool block designs? Can I chisel it? Okay, I can do the sawmill. Oh, we can turn it into bricks. Uh, can I just turn it into bricks here though? That makes polished and then in here I make the bricks. Okay, I want to keep it a couple blocks off the ground just so I have room underneath to actually work on cabling and all that because we're going to have to do a few things today. We're going to have to go fight the ender dragon and collect a ton of dragon's breath and collect a DNA sample. We're going to have to set up a milk farm using a cow. And I think, actually, I think that's all we have to really do. Because the, this one here requires any type of brick. We're going to use nether brick and liquid meat, and this will generate us power. Once you've got all of these things made, you can pretty much just use them um, to around a mycelial reactor which will then generate us 25 mil FD, FE a tick. So that's the plan. Uh, I just need to continue making a couple more stacks of this marble and turn it all into polished and then into brick. There we go. Now, if the centerpiece is where we're going to put the reactor, we need to figure out where we're going to be putting all the things. So let's keep them one in from the wall and space them out to a part. So I should be able to do something like this. And that should keep, get us a really uh, evenly spaced out area. I hope there's actually this many of them here. Or I'll have to organize this slightly different. How many of them are there? There's one, two, three, four, five per side. And there's four, five. So that's 20 of them. Is there 20 of these generators? There are 16 generators. And um, that means there's going to be a few spots empty. Uh, so if I leave the centerpiece out of each one... Uh, then there should be enough for every one of them. Right, that'll do. And I can use my spawn point on like one of the sides here. All right, perfect. Let's start working on making these machines. The only thing we need is a liquid meat bucket. Now, I have an ender tank of liquid meat, which I'm going to put down like right here. So he'll be pumping liquid meat into the back of this guy. So let me just grab myself a bucket. There we go. Liquid meat bucket. And then this guy. So this guy will sit right here. And this guy is going to pump liquid meat in constantly i don't need to worry about really a tank this sh thing should be able to continuously pump in no problem next we're going to need ourselves a crimmed uh one so we need nether wart blocks and we need five of them okay i do have enough nether wart to do that crimmed there we go i went ahead and made 20 of each one of these machine frames so i'll be able to hook them all up so then we need ourselves a rocket that's no problem that's just paper and some gunpowder we're going to need ourselves a death one, which requires a bone, which we don't have any bones because of our system at the moment. So bone. Can I make a bone or can I actually sneak out a bone but, uh, somehow? Okay, I had to grab it out of this thing. But there we go. We got some bones. Let's come all the way back over here to our compact machine and continue placing these down. 
I realize I don't actually spawn underneath, so I need to set my spawn point up top now. And we'll set it, like, right here. There we go. So, uh, death generator is there. So the death one, I believe, actually gives off, like, a cursed kind of area. So if you stand near it, it will try to kill you. So just try your best to keep it away from your spawn point. A pink generator. I'll put that right there. The nether star generator. Uh, that's simple enough. I'll put that right there. Uh, so that one, that one, the magma one is going to require some buckets of lava and a redstone block. That's okay. Make another stack of them. Magma. Uh, halitosis, which is going to require the dragon breath. Uh, frosty one. Good thing I made that snow earlier. Explosive. We got some TNT, which is good. Ender pearls. Uh, I did set up a enderman seed and a blaze seed, so we could craft these things if we wanted to. Instead of having to go through the whole casting table. I'll probably just use regular ender pearls. This enchantment table, or uh, mycelia react generator. This thing is going to use enchantment books or items that have enchants on it to power it. Uh, we need a culinary one, and then we're going to need ourselves a slimy one. So we need some slime balls. Uh, wait, why did I do that? No. Slime ones. We have so much slime, it's ridiculous. Uh, slimy. And then we just need a furnace one. That should be all the generators now. Okay, so let's start putting them all down. So, each one's a culinary, potion, mycelial, explosive, ender, that one, furnace, and then we need ourselves a slimy and disenchanting one. I'll put the disenchantment one in the corner here and the slimy one there. So here we go. The mycelial reactor is going to require two diamond gears. I actually have to go and craft that now. And this should craft us a mycelial reactor. It'll go into the system so we can head back over here. So we need to kill the ender dragon again. So if we look at end crystals, we should be able to make ourselves four end crystals. There we are. And I'm going to grab myself a matter uh, receiver. And I'm going to set this up over at the end portal because I'm going to have to fly all the way back over there now. But if I can set one up now over there, I think that will probably save us a bit of traveling time. So let's come down here and put down our generator first. And actually, we're going to need ourselves a DNA sampler. So the de netherite one should do. Let's come down here, into here, and reactor. There we are, the missile reactor. I'm not going to put it up on a pedestal. I'm just going to put it right here. Oops, nope. Oh, the FPS difference in here is so good. So this guy here will generate power based off of each one of the things here. It says it generates 25 million FE a tick. And yeah, once all of these things are running, it'll be great. Right. Let's head to the end and set up this porter so we can teleport back. Uh, I'm pretty sure my waypoints are gone, but I know it's in this direction. Right. Let's head to the end and set up this porter so we can teleport back. Uh, I'm pretty sure my waypoints are gone, but I know it's in this direction. Okay, I just realized I actually had my recording paused since I said I was going to go find the end stronghold. Um, but I have respawned the dragon with the four end crystals and I've been collecting some of the dragon's breath. I went over the whole explanation of how I'm going to make more with the cages. So let me just quickly redo that again. Oh my God. How did I not realize I was paused? Uh, I need to capture the dragon, um, in the cages because then he will generate the dragon scale and each dragon scale generates one dragon's breath. Once dragon's breath lasts 600 ticks per, um, run inside the generator and it takes 120 ticks per dragon to grow, but it's a 5% chance to be able to get a dragon scale. So that means we have about three chances to get a dragon scale per usage of a dragon's breath in a generator. So I'm going to sit here and just gather up maybe another two stacks of this dragon breath, and then we'll take out the dragon and collect some DNA off of him too. So I'll be back once I have a ton of this breath. Okay, and the dragon is now dead. Uh, he didn't fire as many fireballs as I wish he would have, but... I've got like a stack and a half of them now. Wait, he dropped another egg? Wait, wait, wait. I thought he only dropped one egg. Why did he drop a second one? I've never seen the dragon drop two eggs. Is that a thing in here? Or is it because like the mod pack updated like a lot since I first killed him? That the thing actually thought that I this is the first time killing him again? That can't be right. But anyway, I got a second dragon egg. I uh, don't know what I can use it for, uh, but I now got it. Uh, let's see. Dragon egg can be used for an end dragon death muffler. 
Ha, huh, okay. But we're home now, and it's time to start setting up everything. So I've got my Ender Dragon DNA, and I don't think I have anything growing in here at the moment. So I need myself a coarse flower. Do I have a coarse flower? Uh, I don't think so. All right, so coarse flower, right click that in there. That should start making the Ender Dragon. Everything's already set to extract, so that's good. Let's head back into here, and let's start setting up our generation for everything. So, what we're going to start with here is halitosis so let's grab ourselves an exporter and there we go but the thing is i think the exporter i'm gonna actually set it up to export underneath each one from the bottom i could actually have an export from the back actually i think that actually might be better um because then what i can do is i can grab myself a lever uh because these things will start generating automatically they don't have like an internal stopper so i'm gonna put these on the back of it here and hopefully this redstone signal will tell it to work only without a redstone signal. That way, if I turn this on, these things should not export. And this is the magma, which I think uses redstone and lava. And this guy uses the potions. So if I set this guy up here. Oh, I actually need myself a refined storage uh, wireless access point in here. I'm going to put the receiver right here. And I'm going to right click that. And it should get us coordinates. Let's teleport out. And it can be connected to any pipe. So let's find an area over here-ish, maybe. I can just grab the transmitter, stick it on the top right here, put that inside, and now it's connected. See, now it's connected. So just have to grab itself some cable. And then I can just start running the cables all around the back here. Uh, this ender tank, I'm actually going to move somewhere else. I'm actually going to have a pipe. I know I said I didn't need a pipe, but I'm actually going to use a pipe and a basic pipe upgrade, because I won't need that much. The so fluid pipe, put the ender tank on top, grab my wrench, set this guy up to extract, and then use the easy pipe upgrades. There we go. So this guy should be spilling up meat anyway now. Uh, so all the exporters have to go on the back of these machines, and I have to put a lever down in between each one, and make sure they're set up to work without redstone signal. Yeah, so it's not exporting it, even though I have it selected in here to export. But click the lever... It should export one in, right? Yeah, it did. And this thing is now generating us a little bit of power. So that's how that one works. So it's we know it's definitely working now. Oh, I didn't mean to click it. And again, I meant to like click this thing. So this is all working. So this guy here, the magma one. The magma one requires redstone. Well, it can add redstone for an extra 100 FE. So technically, I actually don't need redstone to be pumped into here. But I do need lava. So, what would be the best way to set up lava? We're going to need to set up an ender tank anyway. So, ender tank. Um, we don't have an all red one. So, do we have any red wool? We do. So, ender tank. Let's set up a red ender tank. There we are. And I'm going to put this guy on top as well. So, let me grab some pipe. So, fluid pipe, wrench, and upgrade. Pipe right here. Ender tank on top. Set this guy up to extract and add the upgrade. There we are. And now we come back out of here. And over to our lava generator, which I do have a tank over here filling with lava. This guy right here. If I just put an ender tank right here, he will start filling with lava now as well. He's actually set up to extract. Uh, configurator. I want him to reset just to input. There we are. So he will start inputting slowly into this tank, tank as well. Perfect. Actually, while we're here, let's get the, t the cow in a jar. So there's a cow in a jar, which is a pretty cool thing. All I need is this. Grab myself a mob imprisonment tool. Um, there we are. And then we just grab ourselves a cow, which I have a cow up here. There we are. And all we need to do is to probably get some trap doors. Because cows cannot jump out of trap doors. And surround it like this. There we are. And all I have to do now is put the cow inside. He cannot jump out. Grab ourselves an anvil. Any anvil will do. Just do one more like this. Set it up. Anvil on top. And now the cow's inside. Pretty cool. So with this cow inside the jar now, he will start producing milk automatically and we don't have to do anything else. Yeah, all these item drops are really starting to kill my frame rate. Uh, maybe I can turn on, like, or turn off particles. That might help. 
Uh, so the counter jar has to go into the slimy one. So all I have to do is just grab a pipe. Uh, I probably should add a buffer tank then as well. So tank, uh, just in case, because in case it kicks on and requires a lot of power or a lot of milk, we can just do it like this. So pipe there and then a cow there and then just grab ourselves a wrench. So you to extract into here, you will start generating this thing fill or fill this thing with milk. Yep, slowly. And then you set this guy up to extract and he will fill this thing with milk. How much milk does it require per operation? It requires 250 per usage. This thing should generate at least 250 before it needs to do it again. So that's good. Uh, so now what we need to do is if we continue in this rotation, culinary one just requires food. So actually I need a ton more exporters. Let's make another like 30 of them. There we go. So culinary. This requires any type of food. If we have a little culinary here, it can use anything here. Anything edible. I'm thinking of just using apples because, well, apples are something that we have plenty of because of our uh, farm there. Or creating all our wooden leaf for all our overworld matter. So this should fill this guy. Potion. Potion is a different one. The potion one requires potions. But it turns out you can actually use water bottles. So any type of just water bottle will work. Uh, I don't actually see it in here, but if we just look at a water bottle, if I can find a water bottle, here it is. Water bottle can be used in a potion thing. Four seconds, 10 FE. To make a water bottle, we need to fill the thing up with glass bottles. Uh, the actual like fluid encapsulator. So we have a fluid encapsulator set up that's actually doing nothing all the way over here. So if we can put like a crafter on top that and set up to request it when we need it, that should be okay. So crafter, uh, netherite one, we don't need a netherite one. Let's just make ourselves a standard diamond one. We're going to need to make ourselves a pattern now as well. So let me just say a bottle of water. So bottle. So crafting recipe for this and just one bottle will make it like this. And all it does is pump it into the fluid encapsulator and it should be good to go. So crafting recipe in here, fluid encapsulator has lime in it because I needed that for green screening. And all I have to do is say configurations, input, and then output. We're going to have to tell it to output stuff now on the right. Nope, the left side I'm going to have to do. Okay, and now we just grab ourselves an import. And the import should do because this thing shouldn't go too fast. Speed upgrades. And then all we need now is some cable. We put it on the side. Cable right there. And then I just need to run this across. Like that. Now, whenever we need water bottles, it will make them for us. And actually, I should probably give this guy speed upgrades too. And now we just add this in here with these. So what we need to do now is actually start put all of the items into these things. So... Uh, where are we at now? We're over here. So, potion one. Yep, the water bottles. And this guy needs the apple. I I've already added the apple in. This guy here is explosive. So he can use either gunpowder or TNT. I think we're better off using TNT. It's more efficient. And we grab back at my exporters and my lever. Now we can just add the exporters onto the back of each one. All right, there we go. So, TNT, I need to set up a crafting recipe for that, but that's fine for now. So, explosive, you'll take TNT. Ender one, you'll take ender pearls. Uh, ender pearls, you go in there. Uh, forestry one. Uh, oh, frosty, not forestry. You're going to take snowballs. Uh, snowballs are easy enough to make. I'll just set up a crafting recipe now in a minute. Uh, furnace, you just take coal. Uh, I have plenty of coal, so you take that. Slimy, you take slime. I have plenty of slime. You add that in there. This enchant mycelial one is going to require enchantment books. So enchant. So I have tons of enchantment books. I don't think I need any more of them now in the future. Turn off exact because then it'll use all the enchantment books. Rocket, that is going to require a rocket, which is a piece of paper and a piece of gunpowder. So gunpowder, this will make fire rockets. They go in there and they'll generate power. I did not actually mean to put that in, but I'll put that in there. I'm going to need myself a crafting upgrade for this. Crafting. Upgrade. I just realized I probably need a crafting upgrade for the TNT one now as well. Crafting upgrade. You take a crafting upgrade. None of these things are difficult, right? Snowballs, you're going to need a crafting upgrade. 
I just realized actually a ton of these things are probably going to be crafting upgrades. Crafting upgrades. What are you using? Coal. You don't need crafting upgrade. Why are you exporting? Oh, I never set these things to uh, only ob obey redstone signals. All right, there we go. So this should be okay now. So where were we at? We were on the disenchant. Oh, yeah, it takes out the books then as well. Okay, I need an importer. And I'm going to have to set up to import books. Uh, only books, though. So, import on top. Books, make sure it's on a whitelist only. Grab some cable. And connect it up. There we go. So, this should pull out the books. Yep. All right, good. Uh, rocket one. I have that set up to make rockets. You're going to need a crafting upgrade. This guy is the crimmed. So, he's going to require uh, mushrooms. So, I think I have a bunch of them here. The warped fungus. I have 16k of them. And I did increase the storage on them. So, this should uh, keep growing. And then we're back to here. So the metallurgic one is going to require brick. And I'm going to use nether brick for that. So brick into here. And you're going to need a crafting upgrade. You don't need a crafting upgrade. No, you don't. And then the death one. This is going to end up using rotten flesh. You're still turned off. Okay. So rotten flesh into here. And you don't need a crafting upgrade. Pink. I'm going to give this pink dye. So pink dye we can make using all of our dye essence that we're generating. So I'm going to set up a crafting recipe for that too. So I'll go in there. Crafting recipe. And then the nether star. That should be easy enough. We have 8,000 stars. So I can just add this, this in here. There we go. You don't need a crafting upgrade. And the ho holotosis. You're going to need actually a crafting upgrade. Just in case in the future you run out of dragon's breath. And you know what? I'm going to add redstone into this too. It generate. It makes it last longer. So redstone into here. And yeah, we don't need a crafting upgrade. Apples and potions. Right, that should be everything now. So let's go set up the crafting recipes for all of the things we just added. Right, so the first things first is the rocket, which is a gunpowder and a piece of paper. So gunpowder. And then paper. And a one-to-one. -one. And that will make a rocket, and that will make three of them. Uh, we're out of patterns, actually. There we are, so that's one pattern. We don't need a pattern for this. We don't need a pattern for that. We need... I already made a pattern for the brick. We need a pattern for pink dye. There we are. We're going to need a pattern for uh, snowballs, which come from ice. And where's my crafting recipes? Wait, what? Hang on. Ice. I have ice essence. Does it actually not make snowballs? Oh, it doesn't. I make snow blocks. Okay, I might have to go change that recipe out for snow blocks instead of snow balls. Okay. Uh, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, nope, nope, no. So, is that it then? Was it just M3? Oh, wait, no, Dragon's Breath. So, Dragon Breath using the cage. There we go. And I think that's it now. I don't, can't remember anything else. Right, let's go add these into the pattern. Oh, wait, no, these go in here. And uh, there we go. And now let's change out the snow for the snow blocks. All right, where's the frosty one again? Uh, frosty is here. So you don't use snowballs, you use snow blocks. And snow blocks definitely can be used in here, right? Yep, it does. So all I think is left to... Oh, we never made the TNT crafting recipe. That's it. There we are. TNT crafting recipe. And now we should be good. So since all of these things are going to generate power, we're going to need ourselves a plug. Let's craft ourselves a plug. And the plug is going to go under this thing here. Because this is where all the power is actually going to be generated. So we want to set this guy up to mains input. Which will store into our induction matrix. And I think all we have to do now is just flick all the levers. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay, I forgot about the explosion one. And he's all running. You're running. You're running. You're running. You're running. You're running. Okay, hang on. Generic explode. Turn it down like really, really low. Because that is loud. You are running. You are running. You're running. You're running. You're running. Yep. Yep. Oh, glass bottles. I forgot to extract those out. Um, Yeah, they're all running. So why isn't this thing kicked on yet? Um, I'm pretty sure they're all, like, are they too far apart? Please don't tell me they all have to be closer. Oh my god, that might be the issue. 
Are they too far apart? Does it have to be on a different Y level? Or do I have to place it down after it's... Wait. What? Why am I stuck? The point is... Oh, there we go. Oh, it might be that case. Uh, it might need to be moved closer. Right, now move it up one more. Yeah, it, it's not doing anything. Oh, did I really mess something up? Is there a certain range between these things? Let me press use on this. Doesn't give me anything. I'm going to quickly look this up because we're starting to run out of time, if not already. So, one second. Okay, I couldn't find anything online about it. There was no distance options or anything. Uh, I actually haven't checked the book either, but... I did destroy them all and move them around so they're no longer pushed one more into the corner. They're now closer uh, by one. So hopefully that could have been the issue. So I'm going to turn them all on. Hopefully this actually works now. Are they all on now? Uh, just that one. And please tell me this works. They're all active and generating power. But they're not... Oh my god, what is wrong with this thing? Is it because they're not on the same level? Should this thing work? Generator. Generator's not running. Explosive missile generator, magma generator, and nether star generator. Wait. It actually tells me? They're not running because they're full of power. Wait, does that mean if I grab a cable... And then run a cable across the... Underneath each one? Does... Will I export power out then? And that will make it run? Oh, it's working now! Okay, so apparently... They were just full of power and they actually have to be running. So you're telling me if I grab myself a plug now... And I stick it underneath... It's outputting only 700,000... But if I disable the limit... Um... It's still producing that much power, but it ain't exporting at all. It's only exporting about 700,000. I thought this thing exports out about 300,000. Generator's missing. Disenchantment. That's this guy here. Uh, oh, I had to turn off exact mode. Now are we outputting that much? Wait, now it's telling me none of them are running. I think it's lying to me. I think they are running, but it's not outputting the maximum power. Is that because the other point can't input that much power? That could be the thing also over here. Because this thing is set to only input a certain amount. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's exporting to 25 million. Oh my god, okay, now it's working. So if we come back down into here, uh, I probably should set my waypoint over here now instead. It is now inputting 25 million FE a tick. It's working. Yay. Oh my god, that took way too long to try and work. So maybe I didn't have to move them at all. It's just that technically they weren't running, so it wasn't turning on. Damn. That is a relief. So we're inputting 25.02 million FE a tick, and we're only outputting maximum, I think, sometimes 200,000. Look how fast our power generating is going here. We're at 67 billion, 68 billion. We're nearly getting like a billion FE every, like, relatively five seconds. That is insane. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I hope to see you all in the next episode. So without further ado... Goodbye.